Welcome to another episode of Tips from the Swamp by Absolute Control Irrigation Specialists Incorporated. Today we're going to be looking at the Rainbird Maxi 2 wire communication module used on PAR Plus, PAR Plus ES, and MSC Plus controllers. First thing, when you turn on your system, when you go to the clock to check and see if everything's working correctly, the first thing you want to notice, and I'm going to move this panel so it's easier to see, the first thing you want to notice is that the maxi light, which is right here, is on solid and not flashing. If it's flashing, there is an issue with the unit, and you need to discover or find out why. First thing we want to look at is, is the faceplate actually reading or seeing the module? To do that, you go down to System Information, you scroll through until you see the revision area. And in the revision area, it comes up showing you ML, 41, which tells you what the mother chip is on the main board for the face panel. The IF70 shows that you have an 07 chip in the communication module, and the TY1 indicates that there is a two-wire path involved. That's the correct reading. Should the IF number 70 be missing or be zero, that's saying that the face panel is not reading the communication module. And if that's the case, you then need to look at the communication module itself. So I'm going to set this panel aside. And bring in a communication module that is functioning. But what we want to look at is where the maxi wires attach, which is right here. We want to do that using a volt ohm meter. So let's adjust this so we can see the meter reading at the same time. So to do this test, we need to have the maxi system turned on. We want to set our meter to read AC voltage. And then we want to look and see what <clears throat> voltage is coming in on the maxi wires. And as you can see, that's a 22 volt varying voltage. And that will drop when it communicates, but it should be in that 22 to 23 volt fluctuating range. Once you've tested that, you know your maxi voltage is there. Now, should the face panel still not be reading, then the next thing you want to look at is on the actual communication module. So let me bring another module over here. This is the Maxi control module, what it looks like when it's opened up. And you'll notice that there are two fuses on the module, one here and one here. Both of those fuses need to be checked for continuity. To do that, you, again, you use your volt -ohm meter. Set it for continuity reading. Which is here. That is for reading continuity. If you touch the two probes together, it will show you a 
So there's a zero direct short which says we have continuity. So now we want to test the two fuse locations. The first fuse location is right here. And you'll notice that fuse test is good, should be a direct short. And the next one is the fuse location on the other side, which is here. And you'll notice that shows a direct short, which says that the fuse is OK. Now, if the thing is still not working, and it still doesn't want to communicate and connect, the uh, panel shows you that it does not have the IF number, as we showed earlier. Then we want to look at this unit. And chances are that somewhere in the electronics here, we have a failure. If it is reading the IF numbers and stuff and still does not communicate, that says we have a, another issue somewhere in this area of the electronics. This is not something that a uh, novice should be working with. What you'd want to do is take that module and send it to absolute control irrigation specialists for repair. We can repair that, send it back to you, get it into operation. To send equipment to us for repair, if you would like to, go to our website, www.absolute dash control dot com. You'll find there that you have our email addresses, our telephone numbers. All you need to do is contact us by any of those methods and we will send you or email you Federal Express label so that you can send your parts in to be repaired. And then we'll fix them and we will send them back to you. If you're interested in that, again, go to our website www.absolute-control.com. The one other note that I will make is the chip right here, which is a programmed EEPROM. They have certain numbers on them that refer to their revisions. This one shows an 07. If you are working with a PAR Plus ES controller where you're operating more than 48 stations, you need to make sure that that IF revision is a number four or greater. If you're working with a older PAR Plus, you're only running up to 48 stations, you can use one of the lower ranking ships. If, however, you're not getting full operation of 72 on a PAR Plus ES, check that chip. If it's lower than a 04, then it needs to be changed. Again, if you'd like us to do repairs for you, look at our website, www.absolute-control.com, and we will send you a FedEx label. Thank you for viewing another Absolute Control Tips from the Swamp video. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Have an absolutely great day. Thank you.